<laughs> the speed! Oh it's, my gosh, that's insane. Hey, howdy guys, Connor McGaskill here, and today I'm going to be doing kind of like a little microphone test. This is kind of for myself more than anything, but I thought maybe you guys could get something out of it as well. So basically, right now you are listening to my Movo GY microphone. I've had this microphone for, I don't even know how long, and basically the reason that I bought it was because I was gonna buy the video micro by Rode, but it was like 60 bucks and this one was $40 and it got really good reviews. I was like, ah, what the heck, I'm broke. So I popped the Movo and I've come to actually really like it. In fact, I was just on Potato Jet's vlog where I talk about the Movo and how much I like it. And then we compared it to the video micro and a lot of people really liked how this sounds. And Movo actually saw that video and they reached out to me and they sent me two other microphones. Let me go ahead and grab those real quick. Okay, so one of the microphones they sent me is their Movo VXR10. This is their regular version. I have the GY. I'm really not sure how these are different, um, but this is the VXR10. It's the same price as the microphone I'm using, which is $40, like I said. Really, really affordable. And then they also sent me their VXR10 Pro model, which is really cool. And this is only $10 more. It's $50 compared to $40. And it has a lot of extra little features, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. But basically, I'm just gonna go around today, vlog, I'll notify you which microphone I'm using in the bottom left or right or somewhere on the screen. Um, and then we'll talk about how they sound at the end of the video. So without any further ado, Let's begin. Welcome to Armando's house and welcome to Armando's new car, potential new car. It's not actually his new car. We're test driving a Tesla. They gave it to us for an hour. So we literally drove it to Armando's house because he, like, he's already stoked because he, he got the charger. Blah, blah, blah. So we're charging his car. And uh, well, again, not his car, but his kind of car. But dude, check this Tesla out. Look at the inside. Oh my gosh, I love the white seats. I saw Armando, he was gonna get black seats and I was like, no, 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 no. You gotta get the white seats. I love this. This is the Model Y. So kind of like the crossover SUV version and the screen, look at the screen. It's huge. It's like the size of an iPad or something. Look at this, this is the R next to the, well, the R5 next to the screen. It's, it's freaking ginormous. Bop. Armando, I was telling them that I've convinced you on white seats, am I right? Yes, it feels and looks like a spaceship with the white seats. Yeah, we were talking about maybe what he wants to potentially name the Tesla. We were thinking maybe uh, Space Odyssey. Now, just to be clear, this is not my Tesla. This is a loaner from Tesla. I did order mine, which should be here maybe in two months, who knows? But this is nice, this is the non-performance I guess the long range model is the one that they, the one they call it. And this is the black paint job, obviously, but what color are you gonna go with when it's all set and done? I've decided to go with the white. I like the white. The reason why is because with the Model Y, as opposed to the Model 3, everything's now blacked out. So they have the blacked out trim. So that contrast with the white and black, kind of, you know, Stormtrooper, I know, very uh, cliche. I personally like the white with the white, interior i think it's gonna look clean yeah white on white on white on white yep and black wheels Ooh, yeah look at these wheels uh, very nice very nice with very the nice. performance model these calipers are in red though which yes. is gonna be nice so this is like the pathetic pleb version <laughs> and armando will have the speedy demon the speedy demon the, yeah the speedy demon welcome to the spaceship it looks so freaking good in here i'm such a big fan of these white seats i think i've said it four times now, five times now. I've definitely said it more than once. And uh, hey, look at there, it's uh, it's the Mondo Bites. What's up guys? The Mondo Bites, the tech guy, uh, couldn't help himself but to uh, get himself a Tesla. How do you feel giving up gas? I love it. You love it? Because I never have to go to a gas station again. Now mind you, people are gonna say, well, you have to go to a supercharger station. Yeah. But well, you got one in your freaking house. I have a, yeah, I have a, not a supercharger, but I have a charger at my yeah, house. But, but you charge it overnight and you're fine. Given the fact that I won't drive much, I think I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. I will probably never, I want to say never, unless I go to a long trip. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, listen, here's the thing. Superchargers, they're by like 
restaurants and stuff. So you stop, you get yourself a bite to eat or get yourself a coffee, which you're gonna do anyways, and you charge your car while you're doing it. It makes sense to me. Okay, so like I said, they gave us the car for an hour. So we're gonna go get some coffee. Yeah, we need coffee. Yeah, I think that's like a good way to christen a Tesla driving adventure. I was about to smash right now. Oh yeah? <laughs> Alright, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna have to have okay. I'm already I'm already feeling the power. I'm already feeling the power. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the speed! Oh it's, my gosh, that's insane. It's pretty incredible. I love it. And this isn't even the performance model. It's the long range, which is kind of crazy because even the long range version is still faster, I would say, than 80% of the, maybe even 90, of the crossovers that are out there, which is pretty nice. Do you know what the zero to 60 is on this car? I don't know it off the top of my head, but I do know that the zero to 60 on the performance, because obviously that's what I'm getting, yeah. it's 3.5 on the performance, 3 .5. which is that's supercar material here. Yeah, that's like that's like super fast. So the 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 S, which is their kind of like sporty car. Yeah. That's what is that? Two nine? Two point three. Two point three. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> that's as they call it, ludicrous. <laughs> ludicrous. Prepare ship for light speed. No, no, no. Light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow. Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> this is the VXR10 Pro. So let me get a little bit technical for you guys. This is a super cardioid microphone, whereas the other ones are cardioid microphones. Basically, the only difference is, is that this microphone's actually going to pick up a little bit behind the microphone, which is cool because I'm talking from behind the microphone and it actually should sound semi-decent. Uh, I don't know, you guys are gonna have to tell me, but Mondo's out here living life, loving his Tesla, and Mondo, let me ask you the hardest hitting questions. Will you use autopilot? I'm actually using it right now. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's so convenient. Uh, clap your hands so the people can see. Okay. Wow. There we go. All right. Yep. He's not. I'm not. He's, he's either being very unsafe. <laughs> no. Or look, we're traveling. Uh, look, I'm not even. I'm not even stepping not, on the accelerator. He's, he's not doing. Uh, here, yeah. hold on. Look at this. Yeah. Autopilot. He's going uh, a clean 70. There you go. Being very conscious of the speed limit. Let's see if it'll turn. I don't know if this is the other one that actually turns. Yeah. It should lane change by itself. Maybe. It should lane change. Oh, well, I don't know if this one has the... Uh, I, I don't know either. Uh, yours will probably, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, look, look, oh, like I'm not look, doing it. Like, look, look, hands off. Whoa! Yeah. That's weird. I don't... That made me feel uncomfortable. Actually, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Let me man. take over. <laughs> it's so good. I, I, well, this is not really coffee. It's tea. You got tea? Mm-hmm. Plebeian. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, a big, I'm not a big chai guy. I don't know. I like it. It, uh... You know, I haven't ate anything right now, so... It, yeah. A little bit good. of sugar, mm -hmm. a little yummy, yummy. Yes, uh, yes. I got myself a uh, iced Americana with a little bit of cream because I don't trust anybody to make perfectly black coffee. Um, but you know, that's just because I'm, I'm like that. Um, anyways, we're going to now return the Tesla. The drive is over. Yeah. Don't cry too much, Armando. <laughs> You're getting one in what, like two months? Hopefully two, three months at worst case scenario. Oh, yeah. worst, that's, that's, that's a great worst case scenario. <laughs> worst, case. <laughs> yeah, worst case scenario, I'm gonna be driving around in a freaking microwave. First world problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like Teslas? Do you not like Teslas? Let me know in the comment section down below. This isn't the end of the video. I just actually want to know. I feel like Tesla's got like a weird stigmatism. Like some people are like, it's, it's, it's turn right dude, your car's talking to me like Siri. <laughs> I would turn that off. Like I was saying, a lot of people who drive gas cars, they're always like, it's like, oh, you'll miss the, the sound of the engine and all that stuff or the, you know, whatever. I don't know, the smell of the fumes gets you high. Uh, maybe. I think that the Tesla is freaking awesome. I, honestly, I like where this tech is headed. I love it, man. I don't miss, you know, yeah, sure, the growl of an exhaust is cool. Don't get me wrong. But you can't replace the feeling that you get when you smash it and you just pushes you back. It's literally a roller coaster. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, if you really miss the growl of an engine, get yourself like some old stick shift car yeah. to drive around on the weekends. Yep. And then you get that like a, like for me, it'd be like a 65 Mustang. For Armando, I feel like it would be a 911 Porsche. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that can satisfy your gas inhaling needs. <laughs> Okay, so what was his name again? Ernesto. Ernesto, he's actually gonna go take us to check out his personal Tesla, which is also a Y, and why are we gonna go look at his? The reason why, this is funny, the reason why, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. is because that's a similar, or this, basically the same spec that I want, which is 
a white Model Y with a white interior. And I've yet to see, I've even done a Google and YouTube search, Model Y, white, and, uh, white on white, I've not seen it. And it, obviously you wanna see it in person, yeah. and he has one. Not to mention it's the performance model. Yes, and it's the performance so model. So all I'm stuff. saying is, is that if the guy who works here got that one, it's probably a good combo. In fact, you should probably title this Model Y white on white performance and you'll probably get a million views. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll call it vlog test, checking out the white on white on white on yes, white yes. Tesla. Dude, a million views. If that's the title, yeah, there better be a million of you watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, so this is the white on white Model Y performance model and holy cow is it pretty. The white seats, of course I've raved about them already enough in, in earlier in the video, but then you pull out and it's just absolutely gorgeous all the way around. Honestly, how can you complain about that? Oh, there's an airplane above. This is a good part for a microphone test. Uh, uh, guys, I need more money. Give me money so that I can buy one of these. No, don't, don't give me your money. But check out these nice wheels. I don't know if you can see them too well. The red calipers with these beautiful wheels. Ah, oh, man, I love it. I love it. I'm not even like a car guy, and I'm, I'm just giddy about this car. White on white. It's definitely the look. It's definitely the look. Not to mention, it's driving itself right now. This is literally the future. It's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty freaking amazing. Okay, so we're done driving the Tesla back in Mondo Byte Studio. Right now we're on the GY microphone, testing it out on my iPhone. So should sound pretty decent. Basically what I'm having to do is I'm having to run a little dongle to the cable because you know iPhones don't have an aux and whatever you know we understand how that is but we're here enough in Armando's office there he is back there doing his Mondo Byte thing and I'm editing his video which is actually another mic test where we compare the Movo Pro this guy right here and we're comparing it with a couple other microphones which is actually really awesome so definitely go check out that video okay now we're on the regular VXR 10 microphone and I thought while I'm sitting here waiting for this to pre-render I would tell you about this little product that I was using today this is the Polar Pro Traverse this thing is really really awesome so if I take my camera, I can basically show you. I had this attached to my belt, and basically what I'm able to do is I'm able to connect it into here, and so I was able to hang the camera from my belt so that it was kind of out of the way, especially while I was using two cameras. So I was using the EOS R5 for Amando stuff, and then occasionally I use this for my channel, but it's really cool. So basically all you do is you twist it, and that releases it so that you're able to take it off, but if you're afraid that it might fall, it has this little locking mechanism right here. So you just push it down and now it's not gonna come off of here. So this is really, really well designed. I definitely like this product that Polar Pro has released. All right, and now we're on the VXR10 Pro. Still waiting for this thing to render. You know it's bad when it's counting up instead of down. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Look at that. It's counting up, 90, 905, 907, 908. Ugh, no good. Something that I should mention while I'm recording on an iPhone is that the uh, the cable that works with the VXR10 Pro connecting into the microphone itself is a TRRS cable, which basically means that it's more traditionally used with like electronics phone. That's the cable that I'm using right now to connect into my phone. Whereas, let's say, uh, the Movo VXR10 regular and the GY use a TRS cable, so basically two bands versus one band. And this is more commonly used on like camera stuff and microphones. So kind of weird that the Pro decided to go with a less pro, in my opinion,
cable. These cables are definitely more common as well. Uh, in fact, Armando and I had an issue with the TRRS thing with the Movo because we weren't able to use our extension cable that we had used for all the other microphones. So we could only use the length of the cable that they provided. So definitely a weird thing, but it still sounds good. So there's that. Okay, now we're back on the X-T3. False. I thought I'd go ahead and take a moment and show you all what comes with each of the microphones, just so you all know. So the Movo Pro actually comes with a little case right here. So you have a place for your mount, you have a place for your uh, windsock and the microphone itself. What's cool about this one, the Pro, is that it actually comes with an extra little like windscreen that's made of styrofoam. Looks really nice. Yeah, so I dig it. I like it a lot. Uh, and then of course you have your normal windsock and two cables, TRS and a TRRS. So one for your camera and one for your smartphone device. That's cool. Um, and then the regular VXR10 comes with a little soft case, which is nice. Uh, you get two cables and you get this windsock, which actually I think is nicer than the Pro windsock. And so that's interesting. And then lastly, the GY. I actually don't remember what it comes with. I think it came with a pouch at one point, but I think I also lost it. And I'm not sure if it came with two cables, because if it did, I also lost that. It's actually silver instead of black, which is kind of an interesting choice. Um, but yeah, this is the OG one, so nothing fancy, just kind of the little microphone bit. Works great. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and just wrap this video up and kind of give you my thoughts on these three microphones. So as far as the microphone that sounds the best, I have to give it to the VXR10 Pro microphone. It sounded way better than the other two, to be honest, and I love the other two, they were fine, but I think that it handled noise a little bit better. I did notice, and I don't know if you guys noticed, that there was a little like hiss noise in the background of the GY and the VXR10, which, I don't know if I noticed before just because I didn't have this one to compare it to. So when watching them all side by side, I did like how the Pro sounded better than the 10 and the GY. Between the 10 and the GY, actually, I think I liked my original one slightly better. I mean, they were almost identical. It could have been the environment I was in when I was recording each one because they weren't all recorded in the same environment. So that could have influenced my test, but yeah guys, I definitely love my little Movo microphones. And again, if you wanna see the Movo Pro, the one that I think sounds the best in this test, compared to a handful of other vlog microphones, really well-known established ones like the Deity D4 Duo, we had the Rode Video Micro, and also the Sennheiser MKE 200. So I gotta say, I am going to probably be using this microphone from now on. I was kind of rooting for this one just because I like the black color, I like the coiled cable, and I like that it's a TRS cable. But at the end of the day, if this one sounds the best, well, it's the one I should be using. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Have yourself a fantastic week, and as always, thanks for hanging.